Hi, this is Jared Campbell with Data Source Consulting. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of the installation of Informatica 10.1 Server Edition running on a Ubuntu 16.04.02 Server Edition Virtual Machine. That will be utilizing a Microsoft SQL Server database to hold the repository services. Some prerequisites we will need to have downloaded and installed VMware Workstation 12 Player. We also need to have the ISO downloaded for Ubuntu 16.04.02 Server Edition. Now once we have those, we'll go ahead and open up the VMware Workstation 12 Player. And we'll go ahead and uh, get started with creating this virtual machine. So from here, what, I've, what I have right here is already the ISO selected. Um, if you notice, I have it in my download directory. I will select it, open it up, and it will identify it as Ubuntu 64-bit server edition. And we'll go ahead and uh, click Next. From here we'll just put in a generic name. Go with uh, Data Source Consulting. Uh, username will be DSC. Password will be Data. All lowercase. Uh, please note that the username must be lowercase as this is a Linux environment. Virtual Machine, I'm going to update these, the name to Informatica Server. And I'm going to select the location where I want to save the virtual machine. We're going to up this allocation to 40 gigabytes, um, so it'll allow auto growth up to 40 gigabytes. And we will store this as a single file. Now we will have to customize the hardware um, for to, in order to install uh, Microsoft SQL Server on Linux. We will need to allocate at least four gigabytes of RAM. So go ahead and just make, move the slider above four gigabytes, and we'll be good to go. Hit close, and you'll see that it has changed here. And we'll click finish, and this will get the install started. Now, upon a successful install, it'll just start the machine up. Um, so I will uh, pause for now and resume once we have a successful install. All right, so the install has successfully finished. So what we'll go ahead and do is uh, log in using our DSC login. And password is data, all lowercase. So we're able to successfully log in. Now, first thing, let's go ahead and just update uh, the repository real quick. So first we'll log in as root using sudo dash i and data all lowercase. So we're logged in as root now. Here we'll do an app get update. So we've gone through and updated the Ubuntu repository. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is install a Microsoft SQL Server for Linux. Um, this is not natively available, so we will have to add the Microsoft repository um, to the machine. Uh, to do this, uh, we will execute um, a curl command. Uh, first, let's go ahead and see if we have curl installed. Um, let's go ahead and just Type in a curl command. Um, you'll notice that curl currently is not installed, so in order to get it, I'll just type it app get install curl. All right, so now curl has been installed. So let's go ahead and uh, begin adding the uh, the repository. The first will be we'll import the public repos repository GPG keys. To do so, we'll type in the following command curl https packages dot microsoft dot com slash keys slash microsoft dot asc space pipe space sudo apt key add dash 
You want to make sure you'll check your spelling, otherwise it will uh, fail to the repository. All right, so it, the, the curl command was successful. Um, so next we're going to register the Microsoft SQL Server Ubuntu repository with the machine. So again, this will be another curl command. So we'll do curl, HTTPS, packages, dot Microsoft, dot com, slash config, slash Ubuntu, slash 16.04, oh, don't use your number pad, 16.04, slash Microsoft SQL Server dot list pipe sudo t etc apt sources dot list dot d slash ms sql dash server dot list all right so we've now added the ubuntu repository the microsoft sql server uh, ubuntu repository to the machine uh, so from here we're going to do another update so app get update and now we're ready to install um, Microsoft SQL Server. So we'll do another app get install dash y ms SQL Server. Also note that if the paths, uh, if I was typing them too quickly, uh, I do have a, a file that includes uh, the the how-to docs provided by Microsoft on how to install SQL Server on Linux. And it, it will include the full curl paths and also the commands in the order that you will need to execute these in. Um, so now we have successfully installed Microsoft SQL Server on Ubuntu. Uh, the next steps will be to finish the SQL Server configuration for this machine. Now that we have Microsoft SQL Server installed, we're going to complete the configuration. Um, so you can run the command that it notates right above. Um, now know that we are logged in as root. So we can skip the sudo command. We can just go slash opt slash ms you hit tab as a shortcut to auto populate b tab we'll get our sar bin then microsoft sql server config type in setup enter we will agree to the license terms Now the SQL Server System Administrator password uh, will have to contain one uppercase and at least one number and must be at least eight characters long. So what I'm going to choose for the password is going to be data source 2017 with capital D. And this will be the SA users password. So the setup was successful. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, check the status uh, of the services. So we'll type in a system CTL status MS SQL dash server. All right, and this will give us the status of it. Um, so we'll see that the service is currently active and running, uh, which is a good thing. 
Um, so we have successfully installed, configured, and started the Microsoft SQL Server services on Ubuntu. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next step uh, where we're going to install uh, Microsoft SQL Server tools uh, for Ubuntu. Um, you will notice that I have uh, closed and started a new session. Um, I just went ahead and uh, saved off a copy in, in the current state of my VM just in case I need to roll back to it. Um, so I have went through and logged in uh, as DSC. Um, then I did provide the root command of sudo-i. So I am logged in as root. Um, so what I, we will need to do is, again, add a the Microsoft Ubuntu repository uh, to install the MS SQL-Tools package. So this will be another curl command that we will execute. This will be curl https packages dot microsoft dot com slash config slash ubuntu slash sixteen dot zero four slash prod dot list space pipe space sudo t slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash ms prod dot list All right, so we have registered the Microsoft Ubuntu repository. So again, let's go ahead and execute an apt-get update. All right, now we're ready to install uh, Microsoft SQL Server tools. Um, so to do this, we'll execute an apt-get install, MS SQL tools. And then we'll add in Unix ODBC dash dev. Capital Y to agree to the install. And what this will also install is the uh, Unix ODBC developer package which we will need to utilize um, to connect to the database um, utilizing the Unix ODBC connection. We will uh, agree to the license terms. And again, we will agree to the license terms again. All right, so we have installed uh, SQL Server Tools with Unix ODBC dev. So, you know, let's just uh, go ahead and do another app get update. Won't hurt anything. All right, and then just to make sure that we are up to date with the latest uh, Microsoft SQL Server Tools, uh, we'll just uh, execute the following command app get install. SQL tools. It'll notate that the latest version is already installed. Next, we'll need to establish the system links now to allow us to execute the SQL command. So, in order to do this, we will type in ln. dash sfn space slash opt slash ms sql tools slash bin slash if we just hit tab to make sure that we have the correct one sql command and then now we will add in the, the second path which will be user 
bin SQL CMD. We'll need to establish one more link. This will be ln dash sfn op t Microsoft SQL dash tools slash bin and bcp. The target path will be user slash bin slash bcp. Now we will need to execute these in order to allow us to execute the SQL command function. Alright, now we are going to connect to our Microsoft SQL Server instance. Uh, to do so, we will type in a SQL command. SQL CMD space server will be our local host. User will be system administrator. And our password will be data source 2017. All right, now we have established a successful connection. So just to test it out, um, let's go ahead and type in the uh, the following command. We'll type in a select name from sys databases, semicolon, enter, and go. All right, so we have successfully executed a SQL select statement. Um, and it will identify that we have a master, tempdb, model, and msdb. So one thing we will need to do is create uh, at least one database um, for our uh, Informatica Power Center repository service. Um, so we can go ahead and create that now, just while we have the connection open. So let's go ahead and uh, type in create database. And uh, I'm going to name it uh, Info Power Center Repo version 10.1. Uh, semicolon, enter, and go. All right, so it has successfully executed. But just to make sure, let's go ahead and uh, just run the exact same statement that we have listed above. And it'll uh, pull in our databases that exist on the system. All right, and we can uh, we'll notate that that database has been successfully created. So now we'll go ahead and uh, exit and close the connection, and let's log out uh, as root. So exit again, and we'll notice that we are back to our initial login as DSC. So I'll take a pause, and we will get ready to install. Informatica 10.1 Server Edition for Linux.